Hi, um, this is Stacia, and it's time for another training game. Um, so, let's let's do this, right? Um, I'm currently rated fifteen fifty, and I'm going to set a goal. I actually am doing so right now. My goal is to reach seventeen hundred by the end of the year. Okay, that gives me a little less than two months. I am playing um, a big tournament um, in a couple weeks, the King's Island Open. It's about a four-hour drive for me. Um, that will be some slow chess, and I think that will really... Um, I think playing those tournaments really helps you improve. Okay, so here we go. I've got um, an opponent rated 1534, so, you know, roughly the same as me. Let's go e4. This is my new repertoire. Now, I want to play fairly quickly, especially in the opening, because it's only a 15-minute game. I tend to um, spend too much time. So let's see. Will he take... Um, this is a Smithmore Gambit. The main move here is to capture, and I would capture with a knight. Last game I faced this move, so <laughs> um, I had never seen that before, but if that happens, I'll take. Um, they can also decline and go into a C3 Sicilian. Honestly, I'm not familiar with those lines, so... If he does choose that, I'll have to figure out. I've looked at them, so I'll have to recall what to do. Okay, he accepts. I will take. So now I'm expecting knight c6, or maybe like d6. Okay, I'll develop. Okay, so I'm ahead on the clock so far. I'd like to continue that if possible. Staying ahead on the clock. I'm still in book right now, though. I mean, um, yeah, a6, that's reasonable. I'm going to bring my bishop out to the Italian diagonal, as my chess trainer, international master Kevin Blocker, says. Okay, he goes here. Um, so blunting my bishop a little. He is not threatening d5. Not at all. So, um, I think I should castle here. So what's my opponent's idea? I think he might bring his bishop out here. If he does that, um, that's totally fine. Yeah, I think I should castle. So I have a huge lead in development, three pieces out, I'm castled. He has one piece out, so this is why I like playing the, the more gambit. Yeah, this move. So now I'm already curious about moves like bishop d5. This is the normal move. Bishop b5 takes, takes. The knight has to move. I have rookie one check, bishop b7. d6. Is that working already? If, if he moves the knight, I take the rook, right? Um, so let's check this again. I hate to spend time in the opening, but bishop d5, does that threaten anything though? I mean, who really cares, right? Like, what am I going to do? Take the knight? Pawn takes, queen takes, king takes. That actually might be good, actually. His king will be misplace the queens will be off but i'll have this open file with my rooks ready to come in way before 
you can do anything about it. Um, all right, bishop d5, pawn takes, pawn takes. Tempo on the knight. Where does the knight go? If he goes here, I take. If he goes here, I take. He could go knight d7, or knight d7, rather. But then I play d6, the knight has to move again, and then I play rook e1 check. That should win back some material. I don't know, I feel like this move is... I don't think he could take the bishop, so I like that. If it doesn't take, I'm threatening to take the uh, knight. But can he just play here? So... Bishop d5, bishop b7. I don't know. Oh shit, I didn't mean to move. <laughs> well, I think it's okay, but... Um, <laughs> I actually was... My hand's like a little sweaty this morning for some reason. Okay, he took. I'm glad he took. All right, why can't I do this? All right. <laughs> That's kind of funny, right? Ugh. All right, I might not be drawing arrows, you guys, because um, because of that. <laughs> All right, where's the knight going? I mean, knight e7, d6. When he moves the knight, rook e1 check. I mean, he has to play like bishop here and I take it, or I take with the rook. I don't know what's happening. I feel like um, d6 is forced. Let's play this. All right, so the knight can go back to c6. I suppose, or even um, g6. I'm going to play rookie one check. Wow. If I take the knight, I'm hitting the queen, and I'm threatening to take the bishop. I'm a piece down right now. So I think my options are rook e1 or pawn takes. So this knight is guarded three times, but he'll be attacked twice after this and pinned. King cannot move at all. Rookie one, bishop takes, knight, queen takes. Then I'm on the rook. So I like that. I'm on the rook on a8. So if I take, bishop takes. So yeah, this knight is guarded four times actually. All right, if I take the knight, what happens? He takes with a bishop. I play rook e1. King f8. I mean, he's all tied up. Then I'm, I might have queen d6. Takes, bishop, 
Rook e1. No, I don't have I don't have queen d6. If he moves his king unpinning, then um then what? I like rook e1. But what's the threat really? I don't know. It's just increasing pressure is all. Pins the knight. Pins the knight. Lines my rook up with his king. Okay, that does take a defender off the knight. So that's kind of nice for me. Um, let's see. What are we doing here? I mean, I could play uh, bishop g5. What's his, what's his idea with this move? I mean, is he trying to play like g6? If he does that, I'm going to take here, you know? Rook takes check. Hmm. I can attack it again with queen e2. Then his queen's tied down. Bishop g5 threatening to take is interesting. Takes, he'll have to take this way. Stops g6. Then I'm threatening to take here. He can't really move the knight. Oh, no, that's interesting. All right, let's do this because, um, yeah, I hate that I spent so much time is the thing. Uh, so I'm really behind on the clock, but I like my position. I mean, if you're going to play the Mora Gambit, then um, you're looking to get stuff like this, you know. Um, okay. Queen b6, queen b6. Okay, I'm looking at um, bishop takes knight, g takes is forced, isn't it? I mean, I guess he could throw in this move. He's not threatening to take the pawn yet. I think I'm going to take this knight. It just really messes up his pawns, and I have options after that. Um, okay. If I take the knight, bishop takes is forced. Is knight d5 a move? Queen e2 or knight d5? Queen e2 there's queen takes d6. So if I'm, if I'm going to play queen e2, I have to take first. So let's look at that. Um, you know, knight d5, there's also queen takes d6. So I think um, it's time to take the knight with a pawn. So pawn takes, bishop takes, queen e2. 
could take here, I guess. All right, I have to get my material back. But my position's good, really good. Um, so I'm thinking queen e2 here, or actually knight d5, knight d5. Knight d5, I'm threatening to take the bishop or to take on f6 with check. No, I'm not, queen takes. Um, but it's threatening the queen. So if he takes with a bishop, I take with a queen. Queen takes d5. I'm on the rook in the corner. Do I have any other threats? So knight, knight d5, bishop takes, queen takes. He'll probably move his rook. I don't know, I'm coordinating there. You know, um, my rooks are connected. Let's do this. He probably wants to castle kingside. So I have five minutes left, so I have to calculate quickly. So I may uh, get a little quiet when I'm under pressure. <laughs> Sorry about that. But when Stepan does that, I actually watch his videos with great anticipation. I'm really glad uh, for Hanging Pawns because I used to watch a lot of uh, John Bartholomew, and he has not been posting, and also Ben Feingold. Wow, my opponent resigned. Are you kidding me? That's really disappointing. I mean, I'll take the rating points, but who cares about rating? Like, I want to, like, earn my rating, you know? <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is a very interesting position. So let's have a look at this. Um, I don't know if I can analyze on this. I was thinking this is the right move. Takes. I'm on the rook in the corner. So I was calculating, like, rook c8, you know? Do I have some kind of win here I'm missing? I think it's still a game. So he just didn't like his position. <laughs> you know? Because I don't see like an immediate win here. But yeah, I, I think I have a really good position. Let's see what the engine says. I think white's probably winning. Let's see, 1.5 or more than that? More than that, a lot more than that. Wow, okay, it definitely was winning. I mean, it says plus five, pretty much. Okay, well, okay. Here's what we should do in these situations. We should analyze without a computer engine and come up with some conclusions here. Okay, so this is all theory. Smith Moore Gambit accepted. Knight c6 is normal. A6, this is actually, it looks slow, but this is important because white has a lot of knight b5 ideas. Bishop c4 is book. Well, it says it's good. Um, yeah, that's a book move. Book move. And b5. Okay, so. This is a book move. I wasn't really familiar. I played bishop d5 by accident, so that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious, but I did calculate it, and I wasn't, I don't think I was going to play it, but <laughs> I did play it. Probably it's a mistake. Yeah, it's, wow, bishop e2 is best. Let's see. This is a book move, so, yeah, bishop b3. I would not play bishop e2. Computers don't always play the gambit lines in the most testing ways. Like, sometimes the computer just wants to give back the pawn right away, you know? So you have to, um, it's better to get your knowledge from, um, from grandmasters or people that know the lines. So, like, 
I have the book Mayhem and the Mora by Mark Esserman, so I would recommend if you are going to play the Mora, um, I would listen to him over the computer engine in that case because he'll give you ideas that you can use. All right, so bishop d5 was my only um, inaccuracy, but it's a funny move, isn't it? So let's see, how do you punish it? I don't want to use the engine for this. Okay, so let's turn this off, self-analysis. Where is it? E6. Yeah, I actually think after bishop b3, um, you know, if his atten intention was this, now I have knight d5 ideas, right? Do, do, do they work here? Let's see. Knight d5, pawn takes, pawn takes. Knight d7, rook e1, d6, right? I think that they all still work. Like if he takes, I'm on the knight with tempo. I mean, where can he really go? I'm going to play rook one check next. If he goes here, then this is similar to the game. I would play, or he has to do something now. What? This is what he did in the game. Rookie one. Yeah, I still like my position. Now, I don't know what else black could do here. Yeah, it looks like black has something. I don't know. Sometimes I don't like this evaluation bar here. I would rather it not be there. So I could truly analyze on my own. But okay, so I think that after bishop b3, if he continued, I would play knight d5. So that's one conclusion. So maybe he shouldn't play that. Maybe he should play um, something else. This is a risky move to play. I don't, you know, because e5 is always a thing. Um, he should probably go, what, queen c7's an idea. Knight g to e7's an idea. Bishop b4. Okay. So the way the game went, I played um, bishop d5. <laughs> Crazy move, right? So I don't think he should take it. I think he should play here. And then I think black's fine. Yeah, computer agrees with me. I was thinking about taking in this position, but now I don't think I'm doing that great. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't like bishop d5, but since he captured it, that was a, a mistake on his part. So after this, knight d7, d6 is the only move, I think. Bishop there and rook e1. I really like rook e1. Um, the other idea was to take here. If queen takes rook e1, so he has to take with a knight or the bishop. I think um, he should take with a bishop because it gives him the square for his king. I would play rook e1. Yeah, this seems like a game to me. And so the computer's agreeing that it could have gone this way. So instead of taking, I played rookie one right away, increasing pressure. So um, yeah, what does black do here? I I didn't like this move. Yeah, neither does the computer. <laughs> so it's good to see that I'm understanding the position, sort of. Um, all right, let's go. Bishop g5. Yeah, I don't know. This is a developing move. It puts pressure. It's just a natural move. Yeah, queen out. I mean, it's hard to suggest a move for black. You know, g6 is silly. I'll take the knight. Um, yeah, he's just completely tied up. If he takes here, I think it just helps me, right? So, all right. Queen b6. I took the knight. Now, I like that his pawn structure's run, so if my initiative wears off, I have some long-term advantage. That, that, and knight in. So I wonder if that was a precise move. I liked it quite a bit. The other move I was thinking about was um, queen e2. 
I think if I play that, he has to defend the, the bishop. So maybe um, queen here, then I have knight d4. No, not knight d4. Maybe um, yeah, maybe knight d4 because I'm going to threaten this. That would attack the queen and the bishop. So, okay. Um, uh, we've drawn our conclusions. Let's have a look with the engine now. So report says what? It says bishop d5 was wrong because, probably because of bishop e7. Let's see. Um, show lines. Yeah, so bishop e7, actually that move or just ignoring it and playing knight g to e7, also good. Even queen c7, also good. So, yeah, and I agree with all that. And after that, I, you know, I would have to keep calculating if this is working or not. I think after, um, after queen c7, yeah, computer wants me to just retreat the bishop or take here. That's kind of what I was thinking too, just takes. But after this, I don't think I have that much. Yeah, he could even take this way. I think, you know, my pressure, I've helped black a little bit by doing this. So, yeah, computer says black slightly better, but that just means it's still a game. All right, um, so bishop d5, taking must be a blunder. Bishop d5, now I take. It says white slightly better. Wow, it wants to play um, bishop b4 right here, or bishop e7. Yeah, hard to do, you know, give this knight back, but I would agree. I think after bishop e7, I probably would play rook e1. So now I'm threatening this. King f8 the computer wants. That undoes the pin. Now I should probably take. Yep. There can be a queen trade here. Yeah, this is a game still. White's better. I mean, the thing is, I'm down a pawn. You know, black has six pawns to my five, but um, all my pieces are coming out very quickly. So I think that I'm at least equal. Computer's saying better. Okay, so was that the game losing move? Moving the knight? Yeah, d6 is winning now. I thought it was forced. <laughs> I thought it was forced. Well, I have rookie one. Yeah, I can do that too. Even knight d4 is still a game, but yeah, this is clearly the best move. Gotta play that. And now what should black do? I don't know. I think he's lost. Yeah, so so after this, rookie one was the best move. Bishop f4 also strong. A3 strong. A3? No, it's not. Rookie one. All right, so I found the best continuations here. That's really um, encouraging. Bishop g5. Yeah, that's a move. Knight d4, also good. Knight h4, also good. Yeah, so the knight is coming to attack the pin piece. That's what that move is. So I like that. But this also was interesting, I thought. Queen b6, best move. Yeah, now I take. Wow. I'm really happy with how I played this. Turned out to be pretty good. Yeah, time to take the knight. He took back. Now how is knight d5? Wow, again, very good. Queen e2 is my other option. And that's winning as well. Knight h4 is winning. Knight d5 is winning. Okay, so um, now I like to just do a quick recap of the game with the engine off and see what we learned. 
So, um, and I'll go ahead and add this now. So this was a Smith Mora Gambit accepted. My opponent played correctly. This is all fine. I actually messed up with Bishop D5. It's not losing, but it's not um, it's not best. Bishop B3 is best. So I did this by accident though. <laughs> so I need to learn to be careful when I'm drawing arrows. Actually, what I need to do is I'm using a mouse pad on my um, MacBook. And what I really need to do is use my mouse, which when I moved, I put that somewhere. So I have to find it <laughs> and start using my mouse and get like quick with my mouse, you know? That's what I should do. Might even invest in a good mouse. I'm sure I'll make good use of it. So he took. I think that's a mistake. I like the computer's um, answer to just develop or play. You know, just develop. Ignore the bishop is better. And then here, um, yeah, so black has better chances by... Um, by doing something else and let, letting me take this. So like bishop b7 or knight here or something. Instead he played this and now he's just like blocking in his own pieces, you know? And um, I think that's the reason this is a huge blunder. So now d6 is very strong. The knight's blocking in everything and it's pinned and it's attacked. So I'm gonna win my material back plus whatever, rookie one. Wow, I didn't like this move, but yeah, I think black's already lost. He can't do anything. Bishop g5 is good. Time to take that. Yeah, so I knew the right times to take, and now um, this is a nice move. Tempo on the queen, tempo on the attacked piece. You know, if queen here, I take the bishop. Maybe that's why he resigned then. But I thought he should take here. You know, I think this is still... I still have to prove that I'm winning. I mean, I'm winning, but I still have to prove it. And I only have five minutes to his 14. So, okay. Well, um, thank you for the game, uh, Neymar107. And thanks for anyone who watched this video. I'll be back with another one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.